London is rightly a really, really well visited city and you can see that everywhere you go people just flock here because it's so special and they know where to go, it's, it's there in their, their guidebooks but for me there's another London which is starting to open up to everybody and it's off the beaten track and, and for me that London is perhaps even more special than the London that a lot of people, visitors and locals alike, know about already. London isn't about being a tourist. In fact, a lot of the time it's better not to be. It's the things you find in between those big places like Big Ben and Madame Tussauds. It's the pockets of like free exhibitions in a gallery just off a square in Hoxton or a huge graffiti mural in the middle of Shoreditch. Those things a lot of the time are free and always changing. If someone says they've done everything in London, they're lying because it's physically impossible. Because by the time you've done one thing, 10 things would have started and those 10 things would finish the next day, like pop-up festivals, like pop-up cinemas, you name it, London has it all. An area like Shoreditch is actually incredibly historic itself, but it's been rejuvenated in the last couple of decades and is now becoming a real centre for people to go out in particularly, have a drink, have a night out, uh, meet their friends and they do offer something a bit new that both Londoners and visitors are increasingly want to, wanting to go and sample. Seek and you will find you know, things, pop-ups can come and last a week or two and you blink and it's gone. So you have to have that interest. Go looking and you will find. <laughs>